<laughs> so we're going to ask Tabito some questions that we know he must answer that are not on his website. Let's check it out. Okay, okay. So Tabito, Tabito. All right. Let's ask the question everyone has been thinking of this whole night, okay? The first question is, Japanese or German porn? Which is better? German porn is not the mosaic. Uh, no mosaic, but it's but it's white chicks. Yeah. It doesn't really matter as long as you can see what you want. Yeah, but you know, it's like, oh, das ist der prima versus, yeah, I don't know. It's, <laughs> Do you prefer dachshund or pomeranian? That's my answer. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. So, Demito, top five manga. What's your top five manga? Okay, I'll start from the top. Okay. My favorite is um is a Kiseju. I've read all of Kiseju. 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 Okay, yeah, the one of the the parasite of the dude's arm, right? That's right. That's um, it's Iwaki Iwaki Ikitoshi, right? Okay. Like it. Okay. My second will be uh, my second will be, will be Hadashi no Ken, Barefoot Ken. Okay. Give them that. The third one has to be Dari Waka Kokuji. Darling, I can't go to gym. That's about all. That's the more four or five. Um, that's about all I know, really. I'm not that big of a manga fan. I've seen it. I've read manga. I've read afternoon. I read morning. Okay. I don't really. I'm sorry. No Shonen Jump. No Young Jump. No, no Shonen Jump or Young Jump. I mean, Bebop High School wasn't quite my style. Bebop High School. The art sucks. Everyone thinks that that like that thing is so good, but like you know, blues are fucking rookies. Like the art's way better. The story's way better. I don't know. Yeah. Bebop High School is okay, but the art sucks. I never really got into anime all that much. I were manga for that. I tried, but it wasn't really to my taste. Yeah. So, so there you go. I'm sorry. I'm not quite, quite, not quite in tune with the yo yo young generation stuff. But you know, I'm gener I mean, I'm, I'm fringe of the baby boomers, not generation Y or I like you guys. So sorry. Y or I? I guess our generation would be A and N and I and M and E. Shizzle. And shizzle. Shizzle. And shizzle. <laughs> to, to the nizzle. Nizzle. <laughs> so, yep. so why, why should I get Japanese citizenship? It just seems that the only exception versus permanent residency is that one, I can't get deported, and two, I can vote. Three, it's just a matter of, oh, I'd say, your own identity. If anybody says to you, okay, well, you could, you don't really belong here because you're not a citizen, you can only say, oh, fuck you, yes, I am. It really is that simple. Yeah. Actually, there's a four. You don't have to carry that god awful alien card. Oh, but they'll still ask you for it. Dude, my alien card is badass, dude. You should check out my shit. I'm like, I'm doing like a porn guy pose like hello hello you know it's, no, uh, I don't want to carry my, 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 like, take this shizzle out dude like, I'm like what's up lady <laughs> um, did you think when you started this blog that you'd get this big I mean having like fan meetups and making your own books and like hookers and blow and like all that good stuff <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. books and hookers and blow and, like I is a rock star everybody knows the artists always come down to like the last part of the road it's going to be hookers blow and and like, you know, auto asphyxiation in a hotel room in <laughs> Thailand. Oh, wait, that was just edamame. David Carradine. Oh, uh, and David, and, and, and edamame. And edamame. Don't forget the edamame. Don't, I can't forget the edamame. Now, all I wanted to do with my blog was finally just say, look, I've, I've written about this before, I've talked about this before, I click on this link and you can see the essay I wrote about it before, five, ten years ago. I just didn't want to keep repeating myself all the time. The problem is I still have to keep repeating myself all the time because there's too many essays to read up there now. But still, no, I didn't know it was going to get this big. Dude, were you thinking about like maybe doing like each post in like dual like English and Japanese so Japanese people who don't know English can read your stuff too. I thought so too but then I realized you know, it takes a lot of work to do that and I don't really have a lot of time. I wanted to, I wanted to have a life outside of my blog so you know and my blog only started in 06 you know, before that I was just doing frequent essays and just archiving them there. Yeah. So you know I didn't really know what blogging was until 06. So. Well it's just like dude like like you've been interviewed a ton you've been interviewed tons of times before yeah. but a lot of the people like like mine, uh, or a lot of people, wait, but a lot of people like, like me, like mine the best, my interview the best, because it's the only one featured on Japan Pro. Why do you think that is? That doesn't sound like a question for somebody else, it's only a question for you. Well, it's an ego trip for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, mean, I, need you to tell, I need you to tell me, <laughs> tell me I'm handsome and pretty, and that my income's good enough for you. I don't know about the income, but every time I watch your, look, the thing I like the most that you ever did was the day after the earthquake, you went down to the, you went down to various restaurants and say, look, life is normal here. Everybody stop worrying. Things will, will things will carry on. People will go over there. Yeah. Don't worry about it. That was cool. I think you should do more of that. What's the next, so what's the next, next, what's the next question? Uh, next question. Dude, I read that Tobito site. Yeah. Dudes That's are assholes. But anyway, are you really moving 
to Canada. Yes, we'll take care of that. Okay. What, $4,000? Is that enough? Uh, it's more than enough. It's 2000 per person. Oh, two. Okay. All right. That'll do it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I am going overseas on a research opportunity. I've been granted one. I want to take it. I mean, it'll be overseas. Um, we'll see what happens after that. You know, I'm not leaving forever. I'm a citizen. You know, this is, I, have a, I have an indelible, uh, unseparable um, bond with this society and this country. So, you know, yeah. back for it. Uh, Everyone's like, you're going to stay forever. You don't like Japan anymore. Stop. Hopefully. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Fly gene, fly gene. Permanent fly gene. <laughs> yeah. Flying to home game. Not leaving forever, and, and it's cool. Okay, I got, I got so, to do so car, train, or bus? For what? Getting around. Um, well, I'm going to the car. If I had my choice, it'd be train. Okay. Vanilla or chocolate? Um, depends on the mood, but generally chocolate. <laughs> the chocolate, or wait, wait, vanilla or chocolate? Ice cream. Yeah, that's what I said. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Sean Connery or Roger Moore? Sean Connery. Bert or or uh, Bert or Bert or Ernie? Um, they're both they're both not quite my type, but you know, um, I'll go with Ernie. So wait, 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 wait. Also or Con? Con. He's Con. Not even a, no contest. Could be also, a also likes manga and, and and shows his flaws on national television. Yeah, well, he doesn't have any choice because he's a dick. Yeah. But um, Con, I think Con's trying to do the best he can with what he has. I mean, I have to give him props. Okay, pepperoni or sausage? Sausage. Uh, Dr. Dre or Snoop Dogg? <laughs> what generation are we in now? Uh, Snoop Dogg, because I've seen him um, work with Chris Rock. He's done some cool stuff. Okay, so, like, uh, dude, I, I'm... Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, by the way, for your, for your listeners, last time you saw me, I was eating fried chicken and chips, right? This time, you see what I'm eating right now? Edamame. Yeah, have you noticed anything different about me? Basic little... Very thing. skinny. Well, not very skinny, but I've Super lost, skinny. I've lost 16 kilograms since April 1st. I'm proud of that. I've done it's that 16 kilograms is a pretty remarkable chunk of weight. Yeah. So, you know, and part of it is eating better. So, not fried foods are out, fried fries are out, etc. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. So, Shizzle. 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 Local snow use. It's not cool to film in here. Oh, Because like, yeah. people are drinking. So it's like, it's really, like, don't, 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 just don't do it. Like, other patrons. Okay. It's just, it's just really not cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of an uh, kind of unwritten rule about the bars. And you're like, because uh, you, you, you're not supposed to kind of film people. So what, what happens in the the foreign 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 state? State? Yeah, oh, yeah, like Vegas. Like that, just like Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Okay. <laughs> no filming people snorting like lines off the table. Oh, sorry, dude. I was oh, no, appropriate. We, yeah, we, we didn't catch you doing that. If, if it so. makes you feel any better, better, it was closed on on him the whole time. You yeah. can't see anybody else. <laughs> it's okay. It wasn't my request. Rule number one of film filming: never ask for permission, just forgiveness. Hey, that's what, it, yeah. that's what happened. Lost the translation, right? But, um, what, what happened with them? Sophia Coppola went up through guerrilla filming. She's walking through sushi bar and started picking up. Oh yeah, so Davido, what's this? What's this? This is called a book. I think this is a book. Inappropriate. This is my most recent book. It came out in March, March 11th, to be exact. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, Good it's, timing. Yeah, as always. And um, it's my first novel. And it's about child abduction in Japan, and among other things, about what it's like to live in the political bubble economy in Japan. And I gave it a try um, to see if I can actually write fiction. And I think I did a bit of okay job. So Two like people have also read it here. They think I did an okay job. They're nodding appreciably because they're in front of me. Well, what, what, what's good? Okay, instead of talking shit like everybody else did because they're assholes, what did you like about the book? Well, I read it non-stop in one sitting, which is I think it's a good sign. Okay, so you had, it was something that kept you reading. Yeah, it kept me great. 
That's fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you so like about it? Reviews. The great thing about it is that when you write a, um, something of fiction, yeah. you have to test the waters. Yeah. And you have to know what the appetite of who's out there. Yeah. And this tests the appetite. And by getting reviews and feedback, you, you get that test of them. Yeah. And then you tweak your performance to write the next album. Write the next one. Next. It's a training and Basically, it's a, it's a training level. Stephen King did the same thing with characters. I mean, you wouldn't be reading Cujo or seeing a movie like Cujo. You like Cujo? That movie sucked. It sucks. <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was a training. It was a training movie so he could write movies like It and that fucking movie where Emilio Estevez fights at semi. Oh, you're thinking of yeah, Maximum, Maximum Overload. Overload. <laughs> that was pretty bad. And, 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 and thinner. David, if you don't make a Maximum Overdrive book, please. I'm trying to. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but don't forget, he also wrote The Shining and The Stand. So, you mean, no other two books. You have winners and, and you have losers. And, but, like, in The Stance, Lieutenant Dan gets, like, the flu and almost dies. Yeah. It's yeah. not really compelling. Hey, you didn't, you did, I read it twice, The Stance. Really? Love it. Love it. Love it. It's so it's long. long. Yeah, you got it. Well, this is short. <laughs> well, this is short. <laughs> this is short. So long. Yeah, and, 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 the stand. The blue and like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. You better do one set and wipe your ass, and you're done. Can, can I? Can I see it? Can I? I have my ebook on, not here on the computer, and we have. Uh, it was okay. What's up, kid? You have a bad day. She was suppressing her grief to the point of silence. A reservoir of tears was welling up behind her eyes, and they soon leaked out of those lovely Asian corners and down her cheeks into a steady stream. Yeah. Shizzle. I'm pregnant. Wow. Good stuff. Okay. I, I did not write shizzle. shizzle. <laughs> I, I interpret things my own way. <laughs> inappropriate. Interpretation. <laughs> In, inappropriate. Is inappropriate is interpretation. Is that a word? I, I felt like it's you one know, of the shizzle. It's like, it's like eight letters. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You get a book yeah. and you on a random page. <laughs> and it's always like the, the most explicit page in the whole book. Yeah, well, I did that with that actually. I did it on um, opening the kernel of what's the name of you know, the wife's. Uh, yeah, it just yeah. happened to open on that page. Yeah, yeah. It's my first impression of the book. Oh, it's, great. So you, you, you I thought it was going to be a disgusting. You thought it was going to be a laddish book, but yeah. that was the point. It starts off yeah. as, as an ignorant schlub. Hey, hey, yeah. He's absorbing all this information. Yeah. And then you realize it's just like an average Joe living an average life in Japan. Right. I mean, it's, that's the one thing I want to, I wanted to actually, in this book, actually portray a loser. The character, the main character is a loser. Yeah, dude, he's looking he's for Asian Poontang. That charisma guy. That, that Mr. Charisma. I love charisma guy. He's one of the Charisma man, yeah. Charisma man, He's yeah. not even charisma man. He's just a guy that can't do anything quite right. Yeah. And, he, and you know, he tries, but he fails. He's not a sympathetic character. There's no sympathetic character in this book. And I think that's what's pretty cool. Right, no, I didn't like him. I wrote him. So what? What, what like real life stuff did you take this from? Obviously, you took like the when he's running uh, with his kids. You obviously took that from the the Chris dude, the the abduction in Fukuoka, and you took some personal stuff from your life. Is there any other specific like true Every life stuff? Every single thing in that book is based upon a true life story. But you said like he takes citizenship to like become like the owner of an egg Kiowa. Is that's that right. from? Where is yes, that that's from? from? My friend Arthur Pellander, who was the person that tried to found the Finland, Finland Design Center, and um, he because he had. To hire, not only hire Japanese on his board of directors, he had to hire two local hires and bankrupt him. Yeah. I've had some people say, You don't want to do that? Well, come up to Hokkaido where you did, and it bankrupted him. So that's based upon a true story as well. Okay. Um, everything in there, it's, it's not all it's not all, it's not all the one case that you're referring to. In fact, very yeah. little of it, that one case is in there. It's mostly stories that I picked up over the years and just um, rolled together into one great big sushi roll over the story. Yeah. No, I thought that was cool, dude. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. Let me let me ask a question back, if you don't mind. Oh yeah. What was your favorite part of the book?